day everybody. Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I'm Brenda, Jim's wife, and today I thought maybe we could give you a little update on just what's going around here. I thought I'd take you along with me um, as I go around the farm this morning. There's a few things that I need to do and Jim's asked me to do, and I just thought I'd take you along and show you what's going on uh, here on the farm during this time of the year. So come on along with me. Jim is planning on going logging today, but he's waiting uh, to get his excavator moved. He's waiting for someone to take that over to the new log job. So meanwhile, he is in the sawmill finishing up some orders. He's not doing a lot of sawing, but there's a couple orders that he has taken on and he would just like to get them all squared away. So let's go see what's going on there. I came out to see what Jim was up to and he says he's got to change blades. It's not cutting good. It's all part of the maintenance of keeping things going and going correctly. Here's a sawmill blade for those who haven't seen it before. They get sent away back to Woodmiser where they're sharpened there. Of course you should talk, but it's always use gloves. Always yeah, use gloves. I know. I would never do that without gloves. Finesse. It takes finesse. It's always best to do things safely. I never claim that I always do it the right way. I'm just tightening it up. In the last video, Jim showed uh, the posts that he sawed out. Actually, it might have been two videos ago. Um, and he has painted them on the bottom where they're going to go into the ground with some, some old oil to help preserve them. And of course, this is a wood. It's tamarack, so it will take uh, the moisture well. But still, this is an extra layer of protection. Here's an example of Adirondack siding. This is what Jim is sawing right now. Just wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, going up into the hay loft, one of the things that I like to do to help Jim out is to get some hay down. So I'm gonna throw a couple bales of hay down for the horses. This hay at the end of the barn we didn't stack, but most of the barn is all stacked. Sometimes with limited help, you just do what, what you can. And we know we're going to feed this out quickly and it's going for our animals, so we didn't stack this part. I thought I'd show you one of Jim's next projects. It's the clover field. I was out here last night because there were monarch butterflies everywhere out here and I was trying to film some of them, but they eluded me and I don't see a lot this morning, but it was just full of butterflies out here and it was so beautiful last night. And today we have such a beautiful day. And there's the Percherons over in the distance. Let's go say hi to them. Good morning, boys. How are you both doing on this fine day? I heard you were naughty yesterday. 
Oh yeah, Jim wanted to bring the horses down from the upper pasture and they just didn't really feel like it. They eventually came down. Um, he had to go up and lead them down with a halter. Usually they'll come, come down pretty good. But I think he's going to keep them closer to home now. You can't blame them, right? Right, Buck? Everybody needs a little time off. He was raking with Ken only yesterday. And hopefully in the future he'll show some footage of that. The footage didn't turn out very good. Hi. Good morning. He's still trying to figure all that out. You're even eating weeds? This has got a lot of weeds in it. I have recently learned how valuable weeds are and nutrients too, so I'm glad he's eating it. But Jim was also over here clipping the pasture because it, um, grass will come in a lot better now. He wanted to get it done earlier. He probably doesn't even want me to show you this that it got so out of hand, but uh, I'll show you in a little bit in the side hill pasture where he did that earlier. It makes such a difference. I think I've talked about that before. You can see the colts out in the distance. Good day, Ken. Next on my agenda is to go retrieve the four-wheeler Jim left up in the field so he could lead these horses home the other day. I'm on my way up to the pasture. As I said before, I'd show you where the pasture had been clipped this year because Jim did it earlier and I'm sure there's a video on it. But it makes it look so beautiful and it seems like after that first cut, they'll just eat everything and keep it all down. Next year it'll have to be done again because things grow so fast in the spring. You can see the thistles are still here, but I think they get a lot more out of the field when it gets done when it's supposed to like it was. It's just having enough time at the right times of year to keep everything up. You know how it is. This is so funny. I was walking along this field and this was laying on the ground. It's Jim's fly spray. We've been looking for it. He must have had it on his mower when he was mowing up here, clipped on or something, and it came off. So, so here it is. So that'll be a little surprise for him. And this field, he, this is a further up field than I was just showing you. And this field, he got this part done and he never got back up here to finish that part so there's kind of the difference there's the four-wheeler way up in the corner surprise wet seat why didn't i think before i sat down and off we go but it's drying up. We can clean it off now and it really doesn't matter anymore. It's just kind of turning into dirt. Last night I was out picking up apples and there's a whole bunch on the ground again. I have a lot of things to make. I haven't even made any applesauce yet to get on it. I did make some of my own cider. That was exciting. But we want to show you a little bit of that process in the future, hopefully. 
very much for coming along today. We sure hope you enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm.